Hello, my Leo friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo, and I am here to bring you your end of the February um, bi-weekly read. This will be February um, 15th through the 28th, and um, some energies may linger into the beginning of March, but I will be doing another one by then. So, I need five cards for Leo and one overall energy and five cards for the people that they are connecting with. Hey, that was a horrible shuffle. I want to thank you guys for being patient and me getting my readings out. I am so swamped on my personal readings that I've stopped taking bookings for the last couple weeks just so I can catch up on the ones that are due. And so YouTube, unfortunately, has kind of taken a back seat to get those other readings done. So I want to thank you guys so much for being patient with me. Also, this reading may not resonate with everybody. It is a general reading. So use your best judgment. If this reading is for you, you will know it. There will be no doubt in your mind. It will be as if I am speaking to you in a personal reading across the room from each other um you shouldn't have to make anything fit and you shouldn't try to um you shouldn't try, now i forgot what i was gonna say when i seen that tower card um oh yeah it, it will not resonate with everybody so take what you want and leave what you don't Okay. These also flipped over and Spirit is taking, telling me to take them all. My goodness, Leos, what's going on at the end of February? Okay. I'm just going to line them up like this. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, can I get five cards for whoever Leo is connecting with? Who is it that they are connecting with? What are their energies in the last two weeks of February? And what does Leo need to know, get to know? What do you want them to know? Please bring clear and direct messages to these cards for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And an overall energy for whoever Leo is connecting with. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Spirit wants me to take these as well. Um, he says this is for a different group of you, so I'm just going to set them off to the side. And um, I will address these um, after I do these cards. Okay. So your bottom of the deck energy is the King of Swords. So um, you're, somebody is taking a very logical approach to this relationship. Um, they're thinking with their head instead of their, or they're acting on their thoughts instead of their heart. Um, they may be letting their thoughts um, self-sabotage. This could be you or the person you are dealing with, Leo. Um, and they're taking a step back. Um, you may notice them starting to get cold towards you, try to give you the cold shoulder, um, not want to be so lovey with you, or you could be doing this to them. But either way, um, it's causing you your Ten of Cups happiness. Yeah, for a group of you... Um, who are dealing with an air sign, they have left. This is for a group of you who's in separation from a past relationship, and that's why the Ten of Cups is in reverse. 
and they may be ignoring you, blocking you, um, but it's causing you a lot of heartache. And you're worried you're being juggled or um, in a third party situation because they only seem to have time for you when they want. Um, if you want to do something, it's got to be on their time. But this is about to come to a completion. So um, Spirit is saying to um, have faith that, you know, the death card is coming. You got the tower here. You need the death card. Uh, transformations are happening. The world is going to come full circle. And then you are going to get a new beginning with the fool. But, oh, there's the death card. When Spirit said it's coming, it's coming. So transformations, they're here. They are yours and you are embracing them now, Leo. You were, I feel you were fighting the tower at the beginning of February, but not anymore. So those are your bottom of the deck energies. Um, I'm going to clarify. Let's see. I'm going to clarify this. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Trying to figure out what deck to use. Okay, so Leo, let's see what you got going on here. Okay, so like I said, at the beginning of February, I feel that you were um, trying to keep the inevitable from happening. Um, you knew it was coming down and you were trying to slow it down or stop it altogether. But you decided to also take a step back, reevaluate the situation and take some rest. This relationship has exhausted you. You are just worn out emotionally. You are emotionally drained, emotionally spent. Like you can't take anymore. You took so much energy to try to stop this tower from coming down and it's still coming down anyways. And now you're exhausted. There is someone coming in. It's going to be very quick, like one swoop of the knife. And I feel that you are going to be You're going to be really heartbroken. And it could be from an earth sign. Leo or an air sign. But I'm feeling heavy. Feeling like a heavy heart. Like. You're just so damn sad. That was the first couple weeks of February though. This energy has already happened Leo. So thank goodness, because that energy sucks. I'm just going to clarify this tower card because it's a major arcana. Spirit and angels, why is the tower in reverse for our Leo friends, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Why is the tower in reverse? What does Leo need to know? This one wanted to come out. Okay. Yeah, you were you were trying to you were trying to hold back from either you hearing the truth or you somebody telling the truth about something you did. But I see here that with the Knight of Swords, somebody's bringing you in information about your partner or now your ex partner, um, someone you're in separation with. They, they, um, were bringing you in information very quick and it just cut you that like that. And it made you have to take the time to rest. You, uh, it just, like I said, it emotionally drained you completely. Okay. Coming into the last two weeks of February. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. So you have realized, or your partner has realized, it can go vice versa because this is a general reading, that the grass is not greener on the other side. 
I'm going to get a clarifier for the Four of Cups, the Empress, the Two of Cups, and the Hanging Man. Here's that King of Pentacles again. Right there. <laughs> Definitely talking about two of the same group of people, this, the same guy. This is an Earth Sign Energy. Um, he, that does not necessarily mean he has to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but he takes on the qualities of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel, um, my guides are telling me that the, that this message is, um, is definitely for somebody dating or split from an earth sign, but it can also resonate with others, um, other parts of the reading. But this is a, yeah, he, he left and he is now realizing that the grass is not always greener. Look at all the fruit and the beautiful colors behind him. It's all behind him where he left from. Look at over here. It's gray, dull. It's weeds that the buffalo are eating on. And he's starting to realize that, that he should have watered it his own lawn. And, uh, and it wouldn't have been, it would have, yeah, it would have been nourished, but he's now realizing that about you, Leo. Okay. Why is the Empress in reverse for Leo? Why is the Empress in re reverse? What do they need to know? Please and thank you, Spirit. Whoa. Apologize for that. With the vice versa uh, deck, I do not take anything that falls on the ground. And the cards that uh, fly out of the deck on the table, I always treat them as face down because.